Hello everyone and welcome back to another painting tutorial video. In this video I am going to show you how to paint the Defratil Sepulchre Guard. Here is the list of colors which I am going to use in this video. I will leave it down in the description below as well. I am using Steel Legion Drab as a base color. I airbrushed it onto the miniatures. I have the models fully assembled and the one that is actually climbing out of the soil I did not secure it onto the base in order to later on easily paint the base as well. So the first color I'm going to use is Morgast Bone. I use a small dry brush and I start dry brushing the bone parts on the models. I want to leave still the steel legion drab to be visible especially in the recesses to get a nice darker finish on those areas. Now I am going to apply Agrax Earthshade Wash on the bone parts. Once it's dry, I have a really nice dark dirty bone color on them. Once the wash is completely dry, I am going back to use Morgast Bone and with a small layer brush I start layering the bones. And finishing the bones with Wraith Bone, I use a small layer brush and I start layering the top raised surface on some of the bone parts. And I do an edge highlight also to pick out all the sharpest features on the models. I also base paint their teeth with this color, being careful especially around the recesses parts not to cover that to get uh, the teeth look more separate. You may have seen most of my tutorials where I have a usual technique especially for bones but for these units I wanted to make them a bit more different and more similar to the new expansion for the Daffretal faction. Now that I am happy with the bones, I can move on to the armor parts. For this I use Abaddon Black as a base color. With a medium layer brush, I start base painting the armor parts, including some of the shields as well. And I also base paint the cloak of the side holder to have a bit more Grim Reaper look. Then I'm going to use Dark Reaper and with a small dry brush I am using an army painter brush. I start dry brushing the Abaddon Black base painted areas. This includes also the robe of the Scythe the Skeleton 2.
on the robe it turned out a bit too sharp the transition with the dark reaper so i am using non oil wash just to make it more blended the two colors and achieve a nicer smoother transition Then I'm going to use Thunderhawk Blue and with a small layer brush I start edge highlighting all the cracks and sharpest features on the armor, the shields and also the robe. And with some Fenrisian Grey, I do a fine edge highlight just to pick out some of the sharpest features to get a really nice highlight to it. Now I'm going to leave the armors aside for now and I start focusing on the robes, the cloaks and all the textile parts on the models. For this I use corn red as a base color. I use a medium layer brush and close to the parts which I painted already such as the bones and the armor I am switching onto a small layer brush to get a better control. Following it with Noon Oil Wash, I start applying it on all the corn red base painted areas. Once the wash is completely dry, I am going to use Mephiston Red and with a small dry brush I start dry brushing the cloaks and all the clothes and textile parts. Now I'm going to make a mix of Mephiston Red and Troll Slayer Orange, a 1 to 1 part ratio. And with a small layer brush I start layering and also edge highlighting all these parts, just to get a nicer blend. And finishing it with Kislev Flesh, I use a small layer brush and I do a fine edge highlight on all the cloak and textile parts.
Now I'm going to use Rhinox Hide as a base color for all the belts and straps that can be found on the models. Now this includes also the furs on the models. And with dried bark, I start painting the wooden parts which can be found on some of the shields inside and outside and also the handle of the pole. Now that the leather and wooden parts are base painted, I am going to apply on them known oil wash. Once the wash is completely dry, I am going to use Gorthor Brown. First, I'm using an old brush and I start dry brushing the furs. Once that's done, I switch onto a small layer brush and I start edge highlighting and some of the parts I start layering the belt parts. As for the wooden parts, I use Steel Legion Drab. And again, I use the same technique. I use a small dry brush and first I start dry brushing all the wooden parts. And again, I switch onto a small layer brush and I start edge highlighting all the sharpest features and raised surfaces on the wooden parts and also on the pole. Now I'm going to use lead belcher as a base paint for the belt knuckles, the rims of the shields and all the other metallic parts which are not have been painted yet. Now I'm going to make a mix of Noon Oil and Collier Green Shade Wash, a 1 to 1 part ratio. And I start applying it on all the metallic parts.
once the wash is completely dry I am going to use again lead belcher and I start layering all the metallic details. And finishing it with Stormhost Silver, I use a small layer brush and I start to do an edge highlight onto the sharpest features of the metallic parts. Now I'm going to use Retributor Armor and I start base painting all the pins on the models that can be found also on the armor, also on the shield and on their weapons. And I also base paint the rings that can be found on the fingers. I'm going to start giving some weathering for the metallic details and also for the armors. I'm using Nihilic Oxide and I start applying it randomly onto the areas. I also try to make very thin lines sliding down from some of the pegs on the armors. Then I move on to Typhus Corrosion and I start applying it mainly on the weapons and once I applied it with the help of my fingertip I remove most of the paint but still leaving some on the areas to get an aged old look on the weapons. I am applying Reichland Flash Shade Gloss on the jewelries, which I base painted with Retributor Armor and get a nice shade to them. I want to give a bit more variety, so the one with the mace, I start base painting the straps with Incubi Darkness. Following it with Noon Oil, I apply it onto the Incubi Darkness area. Once the wash is completely dry, I am going to use Cabalite Green and with a small layer brush I start layering the straps. And finishing the straps using Fenrisian Grey, I use a small layer brush and I start an edge highlight 
onto the sharpest features of the straps. Now I can move on to the base. I'm using Gorthor Brown as a base color. And I start base painting the soil onto the base. Now I'm going to apply Kerberg Crimson Wash onto the base. I am using a medium layer brush and I am being very careful just around the toes and the feet not to get the wash onto the bone parts already. Once the Kerber Crimson wash is completely dry, I use Agrax Earthshade wash and I apply it again onto the soil parts. Once the wash is completely dry, I am going back to use Gorthor Brown and with a old base brush I start dry brushing the soil. And finishing the soil with some steel legion drab again I use an old base brush and with a lighter touch of dry brushing onto the top raised surface of the soil, I do that. Now I'm going to use Zendry Dust as a base color for all the actual bones that can be found on the bases. Following it with Mechanicus Standard Grey, I base paint all the rocks and also the tombstones. Now I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade Wash and I apply it onto the Zendry Dust and also the Mechanica Standard Grey areas. Once the first wash is completely dry, then I use Ethonian Chemist Shade Wash and I start applying it randomly onto the tombstones just to get a bit more weathered look. Now that the washes are dry, I'm going to use Dawn Snow and with my trusty old base brush, again I do a dry brushing technique 
on the rocks and also the tombstone. Then as a finishing touch I use Administratum Grey and I do again the same technique like dry brushing and just giving a lighter touch onto the tombstones and rocks. Now I'm going to use Morgus Bone on the bones and also the skull that can be found on the base and I use a small layer brush and I start layering and edge highlighting the bones. The only thing left is to use a bed and black and base paint the rims of the bases. And here are my Daffrettel Sepulchre Guard ready for action. I really enjoyed painting this unit. I had them for quite a while and now with the new expansions and the vampire court I thought it is time for these to be painted and maybe in the future use it with the Curse City models too. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful do subscribe, leave a like as it helps out the channel a lot to reach out more hobby painters that might find it useful or helpful and if you want to be notified about future video tutorial contents hit the bell button. Thank you so much for my Patreons who are helping by supporting the channel with $5 a month. I am working on other possibilities to find on my Patreon too in the future. Thanks for watching, happy painting, cheers.